and they will be arrested and processed. Otherwise, they will execute a warrant and go to their house and take them in. Now, men in tactical gear at 5.45 a.m., frogmen, I guess Roger Stone has some waterway in his backyard, and even fake news CNN cameras. Now, they just happen to be outside of Roger Stone's house that morning at 545, obviously tipped off to capture the pre-dawn raid on tape and what was one big giant uh, spectacle. And then there was the tainted jury and the partisan hack judge all over a process crime, lying to Congress. And you got, of course, Paul Manafort, a political prisoner, his brand new book, Peter Navarro, who we had on, all targeted with heavy-handed, over-the-top, shock-and-awe arrest tactics over process crimes. Merrick Garland, uh, we do not live in a country with equal justice or equal application of our laws, and you have now politicized your Department of Justice, and if your last name is Clinton or Obama or Biden and your first name's Hunter, you can pretty much do anything you want and get away with it because I doubt you're going to send your FBI agents to Kiowa Island in South Carolina because of what's on Hunter Biden's laptop that you had for two years. If you're a Republican, you support President Trump, good luck because the FBI is watching your every move and you may even be on CNN fake news. Take a look. The FBI agents, you can see them in riot gear, approached Stone's house before sunrise at around 6 this morning. They raided his home and they arrested Roger Stone. Here is a moment of that arrest. FBI, open the door. FBI, that is Roger Stone being awoken by these FBI agents. And I'd say riot gear, it's actually just flak jackets. They're wearing bulletproof vests. One had a helmet on. These are, I mean, they don't, agents are aware that when they don't know what they're going to encounter. And, and it is just remarkable, and to see this because this is not how anyone else connected to the Robert Mueller investigation has been arrested. He experienced, them, experienced this himself here to respond as Roger Stone. Um, wow, pretty interesting what you went through. I'm sure that bring, brings back very fond memories for you and your wife, who, by the way, just survived stage four cancer. Thank God for that. Um, let's talk about that day and let's talk about that morning. And was there, if they would have called your lawyer and said you needed to report at a certain time because you were going to be arrested, would you have reported? Uh, in fact, the special counsel's office spoke to my lawyer on the phone the day before, and I most certainly would have just turned myself in. But at 6 a.m., 29 totally SWAT-clad FBI agents arriving in 17 armored vehicles with a helicopter overhead, uh, two amphibious units uh, dropping off fog frogmen in the backyard, all of them brandishing fully automatic M4 assault weapons, stormed my home to arrest me for the first time nonviolent crime of lying to Congress. Essentially also a fabricated crime because one cannot lie to Congress about Russian collusion when there is no Russian collusion. Uh, and uh, it was a horrific experience, uh, air, sea, and land, just like with the president. Why they had to go through all my wife's clothes, they were in our house for 13 uh, hours. They found no evidence whatsoever against me. And of course, a year after President Trump had both the courage and the strength to pardon me because he realized that I was the victim of a totally fabricated prosecution. Uh, the uh, November 3rd, 2020, at midnight, strange time to put out a press release, Sean, midnight on the busiest uh, media day of the year, Robert Mueller's final report was unredacted, proving that he had found, quote, no factual basis to charge me with anything regarding Russian collusion, WikiLeaks collaboration or involvement in the phishing or publication of uh, Donald Trump's, uh, pardon me, of uh, John Podesta's emails. So the whole purpose of this raid was intimidation. Let's talk about it in relation to what happened to at Mar-a-Lago this weekend. And you know Paul Manafort, you know Peter Navarro. And why this seems, why these tactics are now being used more and more 
And why does it only seem to happen to conservatives? Nothing happened to Hillary Clinton. Nothing happened to the people that lied uh, before FISA courts. Uh, nothing happened to the, the upper echelon in the FBI when they spread lies about uh, Russia collusion, as you point out, rightly so, and that never occurred. Uh, they've had Hunter Biden's laptop. We know there are crimes and evidence of crimes on that laptop. Nothing's happened to him. Why the double standard? I'll give you the last word. Well, first of all, it's very important to recognize that I was arrested at 606. At 611, Sarah Murray with CNN texted a copy of my indictment to my, one of my lawyers. That indictment was sealed until 930 that morning. So just the leak of the indictment um, was a felony. And when you look at the metadata tags to figure out who wrote it, because it had no court markings or timestamps on it, well, it had the initials of Andrew Weissman. Look, if this was meant, this raid in Mar-a-Lago was meant to intimidate Donald Trump, they don't understand Donald Trump. I work for President Richard Nixon. I work for Senator Bob Dole, two of the toughest guys you can imagine. Donald Trump is tougher than both of them. That's why he was a great president. It's also why he'll be a great president again. All right, Roger Stone, thanks for sharing your story. It's sad that this happens in America.